Hello, I'm Ken Roberts. I'm the fellow that built the Jaguar XKE hearse based on the one that was destroyed at the end of the film entitled Harold and Maud. I thought the styling of it was just superb. I thought the guy that built the original one really had an eye. Once I decided that I, I wanted to have a duplicate or a replica, my first step was to see if there, somebody had built one. The movie had been out for 45 years. I thought certainly somebody has built one by now. So a friend of mine from high school, uh, his name is Don Kessler. He wrote a lot of letters. He went on the internet, he wrote letters to Jaguar clubs. We couldn't find one anywhere. So one day on the phone, I said to Don rather stupidly, why don't we build our own? So we did. The first thing was to figure out what they used to build the car. Look at some of these pictures. Look at the interior compared to what it looks like today. You know, it looks like a bomb went off inside that car. We hired kids and put them on computers, and we started with 1970 when the movie came out, and the original car was built, and then went backwards from there. We went from A to Z. Eventually, we found what was used for the top. It was a Japanese import. That's all I'm gonna tell you, because it took me thousands of dollars to figure it out. We found what we needed. We had to go out and buy uh, one of those Japanese cars. We cut the top off and uh, uh, mounted it on the, uh, the, the Jaguar bottom. Then the challenge uh, was to make it all look in proportion. It was quite a feat because if you look at the car, it, it's, there isn't a straight angle to it. It's all curved and angles. And, and, uh, and the tolerance uh, uh, of the fit is like within an eighth of an inch. The guy is just an absolute artist. The idea for the banjo case was mine. Uh, in the movie, the, the old lady, Maud, uh, encourages the young man, Harold, to play the banjo, and he does. So that's where the banjo case came from. Uh, we thought of putting a coffin back there. We thought, nah, that's, that's a little too over the top, a little too maudlin. Uh, so we hit on the banjo case idea. Well, then what are we gonna put in the banjo case? Why not all the suicide props? It's uh, well known as a, what they call a dark comedy. It has deeper messages than some of the crazy skits. Kids are obsessed with death. Uh, he drives a 59 Cadillac uh, Superior hearse. His mother has it towed and junked, and uh, to replace it, she buys him a brand new XKE convertible. After she presents the car to him, you see him light a cutting torch. First time I saw the movie, I was in a theater and there was an audible gasp from the audience when he lit the torch because they knew what he was going to do. Supposedly in two days, it took me four years, but in two days he, he creates a Jaguar hearse for this Jaguar XKE little roadster convertible. Anyhow, it was, it was four years of a lot of expense and frustration, but uh, 
Now that it's done, it's really, uh, it's really been a lot of fun to show the car.